ओम शांति वेलकम टू थर्टी ऑफ नवम्बर स्कॉली ब्लेसिंग गॉड वॉन्ट्स एस टू बी एवर हैप्पी एंड एक्सपीरियंस हैप्पीनेस इन द गार्डन ऑफ फ्लावर्स हाउ डज दैट हैपन दैट्स वोट वॉन्ट यू एक्सप्लोर वी हैव मे यू बी एवर हैप्पी एंड एक्सपीरियंस हैप्पीनेस इन द गार्डन ऑफ फ्लावर्स ऑफ डिवाइन वर्च्यूज इन योर लाइफ सो इफ यू हैव अ वाज इन योर हाउस एंड यू हैव के ब्यूटिफुल फ्लावर्स यू लुक एट दैम एंड यू फील ब्यूटिफुल योर हाउस लुक्स ब्यूटिफुल एंड यू फील नाइस राइट हाउ अबाउट हैविंग दोज flower form of divine qualities within your mind that you look like a beautiful flower within forget about outer beauty but in a beauty you when people meet you when they look at you not your physicalness but your behavior your thoughts your words they find you like a flower like a beautiful being not body beautiful being so to be constantly in a state of happiness what are the conditions means to be full and complete of what divine qualities previously your life was in a jungle of thorns that means hell kaluk is also known as hell when we were using all bad form of qualities and we were using them at the max that means we were using greed jealousy hatred and revenge and all and we were making ourselves peaceless by generating that form of energy through our thoughts and we were making others also peaceless but now once we get this knowledge we change ourselves and you have now come into the happiness of flowers the flowers of divine virtues are constantly in the garden of your life garden of our life and so whoever comes into contact with you will continue to receive the fragrance from the flowers of divine virtues those are within us that means in our life we are using those divine virtues and we are sowing the seed of divine virtues as in how we meet people and as in how we do karmas in our life and will be happy on seeing this happiness so when we are happy when we are sowing the good seeds automatically it's going to affect the people around us and people around us will become happy they will experience power this happiness makes others powerful and bring them into happiness and this is why you say that you are ever happy this happiness makes others powerful when we are happy when we are using divine virtues that means we are not getting greedy that other person has to protect himself or we are not becoming jealous that the other person has to be jealous with us also and compete with us also we are making them peaceful because we are using the right qualities we are not using the wrong qualities so that makes them powerful in their life they don't have to focus upon to protect themselves from us because we are not using those bad qualities so if i become jealous if i become competitive if i become revengeful then the other person has to overthink and overdo and they become weaker day by day because of that reason so we are being watches that helps other people to be powerful and less complicated to know more about it how to become like this you are most welcome to visit the brahma kumari center om shanti bidas